Welcome to the ultimate charging test between the Huawei P30 Pro, the Realme X2 Pro, the Oppo Reno Ace, and the OnePlus 7T. Let's get to know our contestants before we get started, with the Huawei P30 Pro boasting a 4200mAh battery and 40 watt Huawei Supercharge. Following this is the Realme X2 with its 4000mAh battery and 50 watt SuperVOOC flash charge. The Oppo Reno Ace also comes with a 4000mAh battery but with a 65 watt SuperVOOC flash charge 2.0 variant, while the OnePlus 7T has a 3800mAh battery with a 30 watt warp. 30T charging variant. To keep this test fair and square, we've used each phone's standard charging bricks as you would expect connected to a common extension board where we plugged in each brick with the phone's respective Type-C USB cable. With the phone set up, we also have a reference timer in frame just so you know how much time each phone takes to charge without any doubts in mind. I've also booted up each phone to give them fair conditions because some of them don't boot when they're flat out of battery and also made sure that the battery percentage for each phone was visible from the lock screen and if it wasn't, I've enabled it. I'll be checking on each phone every 5 minutes so that you get an idea of each phone's charging pace. So skipping to the 5 minute mark, the P30 Pro is on 15%, the X2 Pro is on 20%, the Reno Ace is incredibly on 27% already, while the 7T is on 12%. That's a really quick start from the Reno Ace and it's put all the others quite a fair bit behind. We'll skip to the 10 minute mark now and at this stage we find the P30 Pro on 29%, the X2 Pro is at 41%, the Reno Ace is over halfway at 52%, while the 7T is at 25%. In these 5 minutes, all 4 phones have roughly doubled in charge capacity from the last time we checked with the Realme and the Oppo phones doing the best out of the bunch. Now we're getting to the 15 minute mark, which is usually how much time I have in the morning to get ready. And if you're charging your phone from flat, the P30 Pro will be at 41%, the X2 Pro at 60%, the Reno Ace at 72% and the 70 at 37%. And if we skip to 20 minutes, the P30 Pro is now at 53%, the X2 Pro is at 77%, the Reno Ace is almost done at 90% and the 7T is at 49%. As we're getting pretty close to the Reno Ace being charged, we'll check on the phones every 2.5 minutes. So at around the 22 and a half minute mark, the P30 Pro is at 58%, the X2 Pro is at 86%, the Reno Ace is sitting at 97% and the 7T is at 55%. Just so I didn't miss it, I checked in again at 24 minutes where the Reno Ace is so close at 99% while the X2 Pro is at 90%. But just around the 24 minute and 15 second mark, the Oppo Reno Ace is fully charged at 100%, which is just mind blowing. Fair play to Oppo for even making this a reality. And just to keep things going, we'll check in on the remaining phones at around the 25 minute mark, where the P30 Pro is at 63%, the X2 Pro is at 93%, while the 7T is sitting at 62%. Two and a half minutes later, at 27 and a half minutes, the P30 Pro sits at 67%, the X2 Pro is now getting really close to full charge at 97%, and the 7T is at 66%. Just 2 minutes later, at 29 minutes, the X2 Pro is also fully charged, which is again incredible to see. Going from 0 to 100% in less than 30 minutes just isn't something we're used to yet, and again, it's Oppo's SuperVOOC charging that's responsible for this one. This just leaves the Huawei P30 Pro and the OnePlus 17 now in the race, where at 30 minutes, the P30 Pro is at 72%, and the 7T is at 70%. So all these phones delivered on claims each company has made with regards to their charging speeds, which is great to see. To speed things up slightly, knowing that the charging technology being used is slower on these phones compared to the others, we'll skip to 40 minutes where the P30 Pro is at 87% and the 7T is at 86%, so quite neck and neck. 10 minutes later, at 50 minutes, the P30 Pro is at 94% while the 7T is at 96%. So it actually overtook the Huawei device and something we should note here is that towards the end, the charging speed is definitely getting slower for these two phones compared to the other two. Fast forwarding now to 58 and a half minutes, the 7T is fully charged while the P30 Pro is at 99%. Skipping another 4 minutes or so, at the 1 hour and 3 minute mark, the P30 Pro is also fully charged. So let's assess how each phone did with respect to average charging rate, taking into consideration each phone's battery capacity. It's no surprise that the Oppo Reno Ace is comfortably on top here. Next is the Realme X2 Pro, followed by the Huawei P30 Pro, even though it finished last, and then the OnePlus 7T. 
This was an interesting test to do and I hope you guys found it useful. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like for more videos in the future. This was Vabhav and I'll see you in the next one. Adios!